Hi, I'm Patrick Egan with Educational Renaissance, and I'm here to talk with you about creating a culture of mentoring. We want to leverage the relationship between student and teacher so that we can take advantage of those most teachable moments to help students meet the challenges of real life. A culture of mentorship really avoids two extremes. On the one hand, we have permissiveness. Permissiveness leaves a child on their own to encounter life's greatest challenges without the guidance of an adult to help them in their moment of greatest need. On the other hand, we have the idea of micromanagement or a rules-based way of managing the classroom. Micromanagement creates a set of rules and expectations to dictate the movements of the day, providing actually too much oversight and not enough autonomy on the part of the child. As we think about creating a culture of mentoring, we want to approach our students as whole persons whose wills and souls are being guided by teachers in order to live a full and meaningful life. We need to provide children with the moral and authoritative presence of a caring and wise adult to guide students as they encounter the challenges of real life. I have written and spoken elsewhere about habit training, and this method by Charlotte Mason helps us to support the child to be the most mature version of themselves. We begin by providing them with inspiring ideas what does it look like to be a person who meets challenges heroically, who is able to encounter life's challenges with both humility and courage? We do this by providing small talks to set out what the habit looks like and then constant support as they develop for themselves those habits that will enable them to meet life's challenges. The Bible calls us to train up a child in the way he should go. The path of life is fraught with challenges and pain, so we must promote a culture of mentoring to take a realistic view of life as full of challenge, pain, and suffering. But life also provides deep and profound joy. To create this culture of mentoring, we ourselves as teachers must have encountered real life. We must be the grown-ups in the room who know how to navigate the challenges and pain of life and have also drank deeply and experienced the deep and profound joy that life provides. We must also meet our students in their moments of challenge and pain to take hold of those teachable moments where we can guide and support students as they grow into more mature versions of themselves. Well, here at Educational Renaissance, we want to equip you as educators to hone your craft of teaching. You can read more about these concepts I've talked about and, and more at educationalrenaissance.com. Or you can listen to our podcast on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever else you listen to podcasts. We are promoting a rebirth of ancient wisdom for the modern era. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment to keep the Renaissance spreading.